Hey everyone, um, so I guess it's probably about two or three days ago now that I made my first video with some critiques of Kony 2012. Um, just today I got an email from the mailing list from uh, the atheist group at my uni that I belong to. Um, and I'm going to link um, the article that that links to in the underbar, but basically um, that article goes through some strange funding sources that uh, Kony 2012 um, has gotten funding from, um, including some people that are very anti-gay and very, very conservative and evangelicals. Um, this is especially disturbing because of Uganda's history of uh, very, very anti-gay kind of politics. And they're the people that are trying to uh, get very harsh punishments um, past a lot of people in politics there are for being homosexual. Um, so it's uh, fairly strange that they're getting money from this, from these people, um, from these American very conservative and evangelicals. Um, and I'll also put a video in the, uh, in the underbar of the, the, I guess, the main guy of the Invisible Children charity, the guy that you see talking in the video. Um, giving a it's an excerpt from a speech he's giving at a Christian university describing himself as evangelical um, and talking a bit about his mission I suppose um, and what I want to say to that is I mean just because it seems like um, the people behind this project are Christian that's n not necessarily a problem at all uh, lots of people are Christian if invisible children like seems quite apparent from all of this is indeed essentially a christian organization that becomes a little more problematic for me personally because i i prefer secular organizations myself being an atheist um but still you could say that um as long as they're go doing good work that's good uh but already as an atheist i would be um i would be worried about giving uh, money to a Christian organization that seems to be um, conservatively Christian. Um, and then when you look at where a lot of their money has been coming from since they started out, that to me tips it over somewhat into the very dubious kind of area. Um, so then you have an organization which is really, as has been discussed in many other videos, spends most of its money on awareness raising, which, as I said in my other video, isn't necessarily bad by itself. A lot of people criticize them for that, but it's not necessarily bad in and of itself. Um, I just think it's a new form of activism and there's a lot of place for it. Um, but if at the same time that goes together with a very religious message, a message which may very well by the people they associate themselves with and by the government that they chose to in a way associate themselves with in Uganda um, may be construed as being um, conservative and uh, not possibly in support of gay rights um, then the whole thing becomes very tricky for me with Kony 2012 and it really becomes a question of whether one should support the organization uh, w before there's been some more more rigorous checking up on what exactly they're doing, who exactly they're talking to in Uganda, um, what kind of how they're using their money, um, and what values and possibly politics they're pushing uh, whilst they're handing out what money they're handing out. And then at the same time, the question is, if you give the money, which they use for awareness raising, the awareness raising um, can be seen, I think it's a good thing as long as it goes into productive channels like uh, helping Africa and um, trying to deal with the violence there. A different topic on whether their approach makes any sense. Um, but uh, then you have to consider that what you're also doing is awareness raising for an organization which very well may be conservative evangelical Christian um, and you may be giving them a louder voice and now if like me you're an atheist 
I guess you could call me, you know, liberal or whatever you want in support of gay rights and things, then you have to start considering what kind of damage the platform uh, and the kind of bullhorn that you're giving them with that money might provide for them. Anyways, just some some things to keep in mind. I'm I'm not snapping to any judgments, um, but I was a little bit iffy about various aspects of the whole campaign in my first video, but I thought in general it was probably a good thing, um, but maybe not in the way that it was being done. Now that I found out a little bit more about the organization, I'm a lot more iffy about lots of aspects of this whole campaign.